What you are about to see is not real news. It is satire based on real news. The characters you're about to see are not real-life humans. They are frighteningly realistic puppets based on real-life humans. The views expressed in the show are not necessarily those of Top TV, its sponsors, its advertisers, or the nice lady that makes the coffee. Molo, salam alaikum, aita, how's it, san, bonani? This is Dr. Riyad Musa, and this is Za News. Let's get it on! Crime and injuria. What the hell is crime and injuria? It says here you called Indian people uh, cool, cool, uh, cool drinks. Shut up, Floyd. I didn't call them anything. Why are Indians so sensitive? How can they eat curry if they are so sensitive? Hey, you can't say that. That's crime and injuria. Is that why they need cool drinks? For the curry? Ah, sh shut up, Floyd. I'd like to try my hand at comedy. I don't know, bruh. You're a pretty serious guy. Just hear me out. <clears throat> Is this thing on? Great to be here. What's up with presenters? If I were a presenter on 50-50, it would be $49.99. $49.99. I'm here all week trying the veal. Actually, that's pretty funny, actually. Uh, tell you what, I'll help you realize your new dream. Oh, thank you. Well, you're very kind. I actually have my own dream that I came here to try and achieve, you know, besides plugging my movie, Material, which opens Feb 17, 2012. Oh. Oh, yeah? What's that? Oh, well, I'm really hoping to get Julius Malema to call me an agent. It's been a dream of mine ever since I was, was in this business. Well, good luck to you, Riyadh. What's up with airplanes? Up. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Two senior SABC employees were arrested in London after being unable to pay prostitutes for services rendered. <laughs> they were deported after an SABC board member intervened on their behalf. Mahindra, what were these guys doing in London? Well, Tim, they told us that they needed to go overseas to find some decent hookers. We thought it had something to do with promoting rugby. They were looking for prostitutes, Mahindra? Yes, well, we can see that now. But from what I've heard, they had the rugby on while they were, well, you know, getting busy. Apparently, the SABC gave them a 400,000 rand allowance for the trip. You'd think that would cover a couple of prostitutes, no? Well, as you know, Tim, the rent is very weak at the moment. Mahindra, how can the corporation afford to waste nearly half a million rand on overseas sex chants? The SABC is already asking for 1.6 billion rand, so it can migrate from an analog signal to a digital one. The thing is, Tim, some of our top guys need to migrate from Hillbrow Skanks to Kensington Call Girls. We tried to see it as a uh, morale booster. <laughs> Nurse, what's this one here for? Uh, that's for a knee operation, doctor. How? Too late, man. This one is already dead. Bring me a fresh one. Next! Operation Yamatola, huh? Uh, is it another knee operation? Oh, no, no, doctor. This one's kidneys. Kidneys? Chin, putting one in or taking one out? Uh, uh... I'm not sure, Doctor. Uh, does it matter? No, not really. Scalpel. Ah! Uh, doctor, shouldn't we wait for the anaesthetist? No time. I must be in Umzumfobu in 20 minutes. Another patient? Mm -mm, another wedding. Oh. You know, they can get foul and this cause guy is there. Woo! Salam Kombot, you know? Then uh, Zombat, you know, the, the groom is uh, very foul and that one. The Gomboti groom. Ah, what's that? FIFA President Seb Blatter says he was completely misunderstood over his comments about racism in football. Blatter was criticized when he said incidents of racial discrimination between players on the pitch should be settled with a handshake at the end of the match. Mr. Blatter, exactly how were you misunderstood? I am from Switzerland, for God's sake! Listen to my accent! 
People misunderstand me all the time. Just the other day I said, give me my guitar. And Qatar thought I said, give me a million euros and you can host the World Cup. So you denying saying that racist abuse on the field should be settled with a handshake after the game? Mr. Blatter. Shut up, Danny. The point, Tom, is that I am a very close friend of Nelson Mandela. We were practically in prison together. I also once had a dream about Martin Luther King. And look at this picture of me in Tokyo Sex Wheel. This is not the image of the racist. I love black people. I love them so much that sometimes I cry myself to sleep at night. Excuse me, I'd like to... Shut up, Danny. But Mr. Blatter... Players like Manchester United defender Rio Ferdinand have strongly condemned your remarks. How can you ignore that? Oh, please. Rio Ferdinand knows nothing about racism. He is from Spain. Or maybe South America. He is, how do you say, a mulatto. Like my little friend here. And I just... Shut up, Danny! It doesn't seem like you are taking all the criticisms very seriously. I have a very thick skin, John. Thick like a white rhino. Or even a black rhino. I am not a rhinoist. Rhinos are people too. Equal rights for rhinos. Why not? If you don't mind, I would like to... Shut, Shut up, up, Danny! Danny. Who hunted, man, sir? Thought you'd seen the last of me, eh? The big boss is on holiday, so I thought I would come up and cause a bit of cuck. Like put up my old flach at the hospital. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, f***. What about his wife, Noah Sagendi Gok? Gorogo. Cheers. Yammer me, you from Satan. Please don't make me lick Idi Amin's balls again. Whoa. Uh, Jong and Don, uh, Ness, what am I looking for again? Uh, I don't have the answer to that, Doctor, since there is a one million rand lawsuit at stake here. Uh, would you like to phone a friend? Yes, call Dr. Ted. Put him on speakerphone. Yes, sir. Walter Basson. Hello. Dr. Ted. It depends who's asking. Uh, this is Dr. Khadeb. I'm going to a zombie in the morning. Of the Bovana clan of the Chalama Gambusha line, also related to the ruling house of Sikau and Kolisiwe. Yeah, but uh, can I help? Yeah, I've got a patient here. I was wondering if you could. Give him 15 milligrams of morphine, two hits on a white pipe, six ecstasies, and a blanket full of methaquilone. And tell him not to call you in the morning. <laughs> But what if he... Yes, yes, man. It's not brain surgery. If he wants to sue, push him out of an airplane at 10,000 feet. He will feel much better after that. Mm. Push, doctor. Right, that's it. Stitch him up. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, where are my khakis? Quick, nurse, open him up. My word, there's my handbag. Is that everything? Ah, uh, oh, no. Look, there seems to be something moving in there, Doctor. Doctor, give me your hand. You journalists are always making me look like an idiot. But I'm not a journalist. I'm a stand-up comic, dude. That's what I said. You comedians are always making me look like an idiot. And anyway, I thought you were a doctor. Well, kind of, yes. Okay. I need you to help me with something. You see these strings, what do you think it is? 
<laughs> I see. I think I think you've got a very advanced case of uh, suspensionitis. What is the cure? Only rest. You should start feeling better in about five years. Oh! Wait a minute. It's a joke. Oh, oh, okay. I get it. The real reason I'm here is because I want to... Let me guess. You want to do stand-up comedy, right? Hey, how did you know that? Are you a witch doctor? <laughs> it's just very popular at the moment. I need something to do for the next five years. And then that Trevor Noah guy is always on the TV and the billboards. If he can do it, why can't I? Actually, there's no reason you can't. Okay, tell, tell me your best joke. Come on, hit me. I meant hit me with the best joke, dude. Not actually. Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? Julius. Julius who? Julius Malema. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's gonna kill, dude. No, I'm not going to kill anyone. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you, you did say the bully bono, kill the boar. You did say that. I just bought a farm. How can I kill myself? Don't be chacharach. Okay, maybe you are not white, but you are still an agent with an Indian tendency. Juju, thank, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it, brah. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Huh? Julius! Hi, <gasps> What are you doing in there? Heidi. Hiding from who? From everybody. Now, put me back. Hi, bo. My guests today are someone who is on the cutting edge of modern science and someone who isn't. Can you guess which is which? Pick me! Pick me! We'll be talking to them a little later about amazing new discoveries like particles that can move faster than the speed of light and carriers that can end even faster than that. Team, does this man work at the Large Hard-On Collider in Swaziland? Uh, it's not hard-on, it's head-on. The Large Hadron Collider, and it's in Switzerland. Oh, so if it's not a hard on, then what is this big bang everyone talks about? <laughs> what are you doing, Jacob? <laughs> I'm just blacking out these classified documents. No, 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 no. What are they? The parts of my biography about how transparent my administration was. Good, good, good. Uh, that will teach this Nadine Godima, who says that we are taking South Africa beyond apartheid with the secrecy bill. Who is Nadim Godima? This is what I like to hear. One day we won't need the secrecy bill anymore. Why? Will we be more transparent? No, 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 no. Jacob, thanks to our education system, soon no one in South Africa will be able to read, so we won't need to censor documents anymore. South Africa is on the brink of issuing the largest tender in the history of... Tender? Where? Where? Leave it, it's mine. As I was saying, the government contract will be for six nuclear reactors to be built by 2030. The tender is with an estimated one trillion rand and bidding will begin next year. Mr. Mantashe, is the ANC not afraid that a job this size will uh, spark an all-out war between uh, tenderpreneurs and uh, anyone else trying to get a piece of this very lucrative pie? No, 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 no. What you must understand is this. We are talking about six nuclear reactors, not a road in Limpopo. This is not for Mickey Mouse. Five companies are in the running. Are these uh, foreign companies? No, 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 no. They are companies based in France, South Korea, Russia, a joint US-Japanese consortium, and China. Right, so China has already won. No, 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 no. How did you know? A hey, uh, lucky guess. Mr. Mantashe, is nuclear power really the way to go? After all, uh, Germany plans to shut down all its nuclear plants by 2022. And uh, look what happened at uh, Fukushima. Watch your language, team. Nuclear power is perfectly safe. We don't have tidal waves here. Do we even have the personnel to operate these new plants? We don't want a Homer Simpson type person in charge, do we? No, 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 no. No Homer Simpson. For a start, he is American. 
We want our nuclear power campaign to be proudly South African. There is nothing to worry about. We are looking at a very bright future here. To our studio guests, physicist Dr. Hart Soms and suspended Youth League President Julius Malema. Professor, you have just repeated your experiment at the CERN Particle Collider in Switzerland. And once again, we have seen particles travel faster than the speed of light. Rubbish! How can you see particles going that fast? Eh, uh, well, we used maths. Well, no, you mustn't use maths. It's a very nice pass, but then it makes your teeth fall out and rots your bottom from the inside. No, maths. Mathematics. Eh, uh, this is very exciting, but I don't understand why Julius is here. Well, Tim, when we looked at the particles, we found something amazing. Can I show you? Aibo! That's me and Floyd! Yes, it's a binary particle that forms an inert gas. But now watch closely. Where did he go? Well, this is the particle that is moving faster than the speed of light. If we watch it again, slowed down by six trillion times. You are not a boss of me anymore. No, Floyd, what are you doing? Sorry, Julius. You are yesterday's man. We've all got to suck up to new leaders now. Floyd! Physics is stupid. Any chance Julius might disappear at the speed of light? Tim, no, I'm not going. Oh, wow, Mr. American President. It's an honor to meet you. All right, all right. Uh, calm down, son. Are you the one they call the doctor? Yes. I saw clips of you on YouTube. You do a very good impression of me, by the way. Thank you. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, well, how can I help you? The whole world sees me as this cool, good-looking hero type. All right. But no one thinks I'm funny. OK. I want to be funny. We're all going to drown in this economic meltdown. It's uh, just a matter of time. I'm thinking of getting out of the White House and into the comedy circuit. What do you think? Get in line. What? Uh, nothing. I mean, look, the thing about being funny is you're going to have to be able to laugh at the silliness about yourself. You know, laugh at yourself. How do you do that? Um, like, why didn't you try looking at something about yourself that's unique? Like, for example, uh, the f it's inspiring that the black man is the president of the United States of America. It's also inconceivable. That's like one day in the future, having a white president here in South Africa. I don't get it. Okay, okay, like that funny thing that you guys did when you shot Osama and then you buried him at sea and you said it was in accordance with Muslim rights. Hmm? And you buried him at sea and said it was in accordance with Muslim rights. I never got a phone call, your auntie passed away, meet me at the harbor. Mm. Bring your inflatable mm. kurta and waterproof fez. Mm. Mm. It, it's still nothing. That was the joke. Right. I don't get it. Uh, okay, like, you know, uh, I, I didn't expect the aggressiveness from you. Like, I expected it from Bush, because Bush was a bit of a cowboy. He used to go, listen here, Saddam. During the Iraq war, listen here, Saddam. I'm giving you 48 hours to get out of Iraq. 48 hours. That's three days to make a decision. <laughs> no, that's comedy. Finally. More and more Americans are taken to the streets in protest against corporate greed and economic inequality. President Obama, first it was Wall Street in New York. Now it spread to Washington, Dallas, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Philadelphia. It's like the occupied territories. Uh, this is not the Middle East, Tim. We have no occupied territories. We are one nation under God, invisible. Uh, I beg your pardon, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. One nation, justice? How is this possible when 1% of the population has an economic stranglehold on the other 99%? Uh, it's a very complex uh, situation, uh, Tim. The problem uh, starts with uh, Wall Street. Yes, everyone seems to be blaming the wankers on Wall Street. I beg your pardon. <clears throat> the bankers on Wall Street. So what's the solution, Mr. President? Uh, the first thing we need to do 
is uh, rename Wall Street. I was thinking Quality Street. Let's make people think of chocolates instead of poverty. Or maybe we rename it Sesame Street. Everyone loves Kermit and Big Bird and Fozzie Bear. Waka, waka, waka. Today in the studio, we have two very special guests. Local stand-up comedian Riyad Musa and U.S. President Mr. Barack Obama. Welcome, gentlemen. Riyad, you have uh, come here to tell us about your new film, Material. Tell us more. Oh, thank you, Tim. Uh, my new film called Material, opening the 17th of Feb 2012. Uh, it's about a guy who wants to be a stand-up comedian, but whose family wants him to work in their material shop. That sounds awfully sad. It's a comedy, bro. Mr. Obama, you are here because... Uh, why are you here? I'm here, Tim, to get some help from the doctor over here. I've got lots of spin doctors, but what I need is a joke doctor. And he's a real funny guy and does a great impersonation of me. Mr. Musa, why don't you give us uh, a sample? No, no, I couldn't. Please, no. Oh, go on. No, no, I'm gonna be too embarrassed. Look here, I'm a nice guy, but you don't want to test me. Ask the last Muslim guy who disagreed with me. <clears throat> There's no liberal America, no conservative America. It's the United States of America. Ha! Well, that's just no, great. <laughs> no black America, no white America, no Asian America, no Latino. It's the United States of America. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Folks, it's at times like these that we remember the immortal poets who said, shoop, 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 shoop a doop. Shoop a doop, shoop a doop doop. Uh, shoop a doop. Whitney Houston said that. There comes a point when we exhale. The only difference between us and Whitney is that when we do inhale, it's usually not crack cocaine. I don't get it. Any chance of Mr. Riyad Musa taking your place in the White House, Mr. President? Hmm, an Indian president. What do you mean, like a president that goes, like, please welcome president dances with wolves. Is that what you mean? No, more like runs with Brayani. <laughs> Everybody's a comedian. Assalamu alaikum, Tata. Assalamu alaikum, Arch. Wa alaikum salam, Riyad. What is it that you have there? Well, I was going to bring you a DVD player, but you know, uh, people get nervous when a Muslim guy hands them a package. So uh, my mom sent some curry instead. Oh. Ah, oh, that smells good, Arch. I used to buy wine at this when I dated him. Curry is one of my favorite things to eat. Yes, yes. I, I also love those spicy foods, you know. <laughs> well, then you've come to the right place. But uh, you came to us. Oh, uh, yeah, but I'm never. What, what I actually mean is that it's a very, very spicy curry. I am used to a long walk to Fredo, not a short run to the toilet. Oh, come on, Dada. What? You know it is true. Yeah, my friend. TMI, okay? <laughs> Why are we doing this? Because yeah, we can. From me, Dr. Riyad Musa, and the Zan News team. Salam alaikum, hamba kashle, goodbye, and protect. Molo, salam alaikum, Aita. How's it, San Bonani? I'm Dr. Riyad Musa, and this is Zan News. The news. I was gonna say ZA News, sorry. Assalamu alaikum, Tata. Assalamu alaikum, Tutu. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, it looks like a very advanced case of uh, suspensionitis. What is the cure? Only a rest. Uh, you should start feeling better in about seven years. Oh! Wait a minute. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I said seven. I don't know why. <laughs> why are we doing this? Because here yeah, we can. From me, Dr. Riyad Musa, and the Zan News team. San Bonani, Salam Alaikum. San Bonani is Allah, right? I'm gonna say, sorry. <laughs> Peter. Peter.